Hi everyone and welcome to a new episode of Cooking with Alina. Today is going to be a vegetarian's delight because I'm going to show you how to make a one pot vegetarian biryani. Very simple and easy to make. So without wasting any time, let's dive right in and let's get started. So for the ingredients to make the vegetable biryani, I have 5 cups of basmati rice that I've soaked in water for 20 minutes. I drained out the water and kept this aside. I have vegetables like green beans, carrots and green peas. Some potatoes, around 3 potatoes, medium size. Now you can use cauliflower and bell peppers as well. I have 2 medium sized chopped onions, 3 medium sized tomatoes, around 5 tablespoons of curds. I need 2 tablespoons of ginger garlic paste, half a cup of mint and coriander leaves that have been chopped, 2 to 3 bay leaves, few slit green chilies depending on how spicy you like it, around 10 cups of water, salt to taste few whole spices like cinnamon, star anise, cloves and green cardamom around 2 teaspoons of some cumin seeds and some biryani masala now coming to the biryani masala you can use any biryani masala of your choice this is not a paid post but I like to particularly use this biryani masala because I find it gives a lot of flavour to my biryani so in case you like it you can go and try this out but otherwise if you have a particular brand of your choice then you can please use that as well let's get started now with the recipe so into a pan, I'm going to add in around 3 tablespoons of some desi ghee. Once the ghee melts, I'm going to add in some whole spices. Cinnamon, clove, star anise and green cardamom. 2 teaspoons of some cumin seeds. 2 medium sliced onions. Two bay leaves. Now I'm going to let this onion get a little golden brown in colour. So now that the onions have changed colour, to this I'm going to add in 2 tablespoons of some ginger garlic paste, 2 tablespoons of some ginger garlic paste, mix it till the raw flavour goes away, once you've sautéed it in well, just add in the chopped mint and coriander leaves. Now that the leaves have cooked down as well, I'm going to add in few slit green chilies. Now you can add in as many or as little as you like depending on how spicy you like your palau or biryani. So I'm going to add in the green peas, green beans and carrots with the chopped potatoes. The chopped tomatoes as well. I'm going to add in some salt so that the vegetables are well seasoned and the biryani masala. Mix this all well and saute this for around 5 to 6 minutes. I want the tomatoes to cook down for that I'm going to just cover it with a lid and let this cook on medium low flame for around 5 minutes. So it's been 5 minutes since the vegetables have been simmering down and the tomatoes have softened as well. So at this stage now I'm going to add in around 4 to 5 tablespoons of some curds. Mix it in well with the vegetables. At this stage your flame should be on medium high now. It's been 5 minutes since the vegetables have been simmering with the curds. To this I'm going to add the soaked rice. Lightly saute this, making sure that the grains do not break. After sauteing the rice, I'm now going to add in around 10 cups of water. Check for the seasoning now and if you think you need to add in little more salt, you can go ahead and add some salt at this stage. So now that it's started to come to a boil, I'm going to put on the lid at this stage and let this cook on medium flame for around 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, simmer it down and let it cook for another 10 minutes. So the wedge biryani cooked for 20 minutes. After 10 minutes of cooking on medium flame, I simmered it down and let it cook on low flame for another 10 minutes. And it's done. It smells so good. Add in some chopped cilantro and let it rest for another 5 minutes before transferring this into a serving bowl. I 
I think this is the easiest vegetable biryani. It was smelling so good, I couldn't resist and I served myself in a plate. Let's give this a taste test now. Mmm. It's really, really tasty. Now you can serve this along with raita or any curry. You can serve it with andhra chicken, bagara baigan, even the nawabi chicken masala. I have a link for, I'll leave a link for you down in the description for all these recipes. Please go and check them out. And you have to have to give this recipe a try. I promise you will love it. If you like the video, then please do give it a thumbs up and also do share the recipe with your friends and family. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I'll see you guys next week with another new recipe. Until then, bye.